After the recent influx in violent crime in the heart of downtown, aldermen are calling for more police manpower. Shootings, carjackings, and robberies are all st uh, spiking in Chicago's most popular hospitality and entertainment districts. Anthony Ponce joins us live from River North with more. Anthony. Dawn and Corey, we are right around the corner from uh, the spot where a couple of Saturdays ago, two men were severely beaten and robbed. And now there is a new police commander overseeing this area north of the river after this violent spike in crime plaguing some of Chicago's flagship neighborhoods uh, like the Gold Coast here in River North and the Loop. And tonight, one of the downtown aldermen spoke to that new commander about his plans uh, to fight this spike in violence. This is like nothing we've ever really seen before. From beatings and robberies to stabbings and carjackings, it has been a rough run in recent weeks for Chicago's flagship neighborhoods of Gold Coast, River North, and the Loop. We're seeing robberies that in the past was just your, you would lose your cell phone, but now you lose your cell phone and you're beaten uh, into unconsciousness. So this is concerning everyone because it isn't just a property crime anymore. People are really being physically harmed out there. In a public safety webinar tonight, Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins hosted brand new 18th District Commander John Hine, a 25-year CPD veteran, to discuss with downtown residents how to tackle the violence. I truly believe with this this partnership, we're gonna we're gonna show some positive results, and uh, we're gonna get to where we want to be. Hines says going into every weekend, top CPD brass will come up with an action plan based on data, intel, and crime trends. All hands on deck weekend, watching and analyzing and observing to see if these strategies are working. If they're not working, we'll tweak it a certain way, but uh, we'll try to deploy our resources onto where the issues are happening. While Alderman Hopkins has been critical of recent CPD response times, he doesn't blame the department itself, who he says is right now overwhelmed. That we just simply don't have sufficient resources to respond to this increase in shootings, carjackings, and downtown robberies. Hopkins also called for an additional police manpower here in this area, but also says the CPD is right now uh, being stymied what, by what he called a judicial system that seems to have lost its way. We are live tonight in the River North neighborhood. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 Chicago.